second talk of this section is given by uh, Masayuki Miyamoto. Uh, he will talk about distributed merging other synthesis of quantum states and its application. Floor is yours. Okay. Hi. Uh, okay. I, I, I will talk about uh, quantum state synthesis problem in the distributed setting and, and its application. So, first, uh, state synthesis, uh, state synthesis problem. Uh, is uh, given as follows. For the input, we have a classical description of uh, some specific quantum state, psi. And for the output, uh, we have to uh, output some quantum state that approximate uh, the input quantum state, psi. And this uh, problem uh, the mo motivation of this program is to quantify uh, the difficulty of quantum ta tasks, such as uh, preparing the ground state of a uh, quantum system. Uh, and the state synthesis program uh, was uh, first introduced by Aronson uh, in the setting of uh, query complexity problem. And after that, uh, more recently, uh, several works uh, started to define quantum state complexity class. And in this talk, we invest investigate uh, this problem in the setting of quantum distributed computing, where the task is to generate uh, some quantum state Psi uh, at uh, the rightmost node U, where uh, the input is given to the node V. Uh, and our goal is uh, to generate a Psi with as few communication as possible. And more uh, precisely, our setting is called uh, distributed quantum margin alpha or uh, DQMA, uh, and in this setting, uh, each node receives, uh, each node of the network receives a small quantum proof uh, from all powerful but untrusted prover. <coughs> so now uh, we uh, define uh, the distributed quantum Mariana protocol uh, the protocol has uh, two phases. The first, uh, each node U receives SP qubit uh, quantum proof uh, from uh, the prover. And then in the uh, second phase, the network runs one round quantum distributed algorithm uh, where each node can exchange SM qubit uh, information uh, between uh, uh, its neighboring nodes. And the, uh, the main complexity measure of this protocol is the uh, proof size SP and the message size SM. 
so this is a DKMA protocol, uh, and this is was first introduced by Prime Lugar Nishimura Paz uh, uh, two years ago, and and this can be viewed as a <coughs> quantum version of uh, distributed marine earth, uh, which is a notion of uh, uh, distributed NP. Okay, so this, this is a summary of uh, our results. The first result is a DKMA protocol for state synthesis program in, uh, the, in this setting, and its application to uh, the problem, uh, classical problem, uh, set equality problem. And the second result is a uh, general framework uh, to combat DQMA protocols to LOCC DQMA protocols, where LOCC DQMA protocol is uh, DKMA protocol, but each node only uh, can perform one round classical communication instead of uh, quantum communication. So now we uh, define uh, the problem. So we consider the problem we call state generation with distributed inputs. Uh, or n qubit SGDI problem. <coughs> uh, so we uh, consider the network of R plus one node paths uh, as follows. And for the input, uh, for the input to the leftmost node, uh, uh, the quantum state psi, uh, uh, the classical description of the, the quantum state psi, and for the other node, uh, the input is some uh, unitary transformation. <coughs> and the goal of this uh, problem is to generate uh, the state U R uh, to U one uh, psi at the right uh, most node B R. So for this uh, problem, we designed a DKMA protocol with uh, the proof size SP is uh, uh, equal to uh, N squared times R to the five, and the message size SM N times R squared. And additionally, our protocol uh, has uh, two conditions. The first condition, uh, the completeness condition, is that uh, there are quantum proofs such that all nodes accept uh, with probability one, and the uh, rightmost node PR outputs uh, the desired uh, quantum state. And for the soundness condition, uh, if uh, the if all nodes accept with probability greater than uh, epsilon for some small constant epsilon, then the output state phi uh, of the rightmost node VR is uh, sufficiently close to the target state. Now uh, we are we describe the main idea of our protocol. Uh, but for simplicity, we assume uh, each uh, input uh, input to the node V1 to VR is uh, the identity. So the problem becomes, uh, the goal of the problem becomes to output uh, Psi in the, uh, the rightmost node. So, so the main idea is that the prover Marin uh, gives uh, 
several copy of uh, the quantum state psi to each node V0 to VR. And uh, so the proof of VI is described as uh, the ten tensor product of uh, quantum state psi. And then <laughs> each node VI and VI plus one check uh, the equivalence of uh, their proofs uh, by the swap test. Then uh, finally, uh, the node VR outputs uh, the quantum proof as, uh, the, as its output. So, uh, and this is a, a protocol and the analysis of uh, the completeness condition is uh, very simple because the ONS prover sends a tensor product of psi uh, to each node, then each uh, node uh, perform the swap test between uh, the neighboring nodes. And then finally, uh, the node output of node VR is uh, identical to Psi. Uh, but the analysis of the soundness condition is not trivial. Uh, so here we explain the high level idea of uh, the analysis. So first we uh, assume that uh, each uh, a proof of uh, v node vi and proof of vi plus one are one over r squared cross uh, for each i. Then, uh, the, then the distance uh, between uh, the input state psi and the output state, uh, which is a proof of uh, the node vr is at most uh, one over r cross because the distance between node vr and uh, node v0 is at most uh, r, r plus one. And then uh, we want to reject if uh, the proof of vi and proof of vi plus one are not uh, one over r square cross. So in order to uh, do this, uh, we can use the property of the subtest, such that if uh, the subtest accepts with at least probability one minus epsilon, then uh, the input states are uh, big or uh, square root epsilon cross. So we have uh, another uh, technical difficulty uh, such that uh, we have to deal with entangled proofs because uh, 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 this ex explanation uh, assumes uh, the proof is not entangled. So I don't, I don't explain uh, how to deal with entangled proofs, but uh, this can be uh, done by using the quantum definite argument. So uh, this is a, a high level idea of uh, the analysis of the soundness condition. So for uh, the application of uh, our protocol, we consider uh, the problem set equality, uh, which is introduced by now our partner and Yogev. So let S be a finite set, then uh, the input to the node U is two L elements of uh, the finite set S, a u1 to a u l and b u1 to b u l. And the output is to decide if 
capital A is equal to capital B, as Maris said, where capital A is the all of the input AUI, and capital B is the, uh, is a set of all of uh, BUI. <coughs> So for example, this is a uh, input instance for S equal one, two, three, four, and input size L equal three. Uh, so there are two uh, subsets of input to each node, and the, in this case, capital A is one, one, two, 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 three, three, four, four, and B is the same. So uh, the net network has to uh, output yes, for this case. And ori originally, uh, they considered an interactive protocol uh, for the set equality program. So we consider two polynomials over uh, sufficiently large field, uh, polynomial PA and polynomial PB. Uh, defined as follows. And for these two polynomials, uh, if uh, capital A is equal to capital B, uh, the polynomials are same. And if not, uh, polynomial, uh, the value of each polynomial is uh, different with high probability. So using this polynomial, so first network uh, query a random input, uh, random uh, element of large field X uh, to the prover. And the prover responds with uh, the value of PAX and PBX. And then the network can verify uh, uh, if uh, capital A is equal to capital B. And the idea of our protocol is to skip uh, the query round. So we, uh, we also use the same polynomials PA and PA, PB. But uh, instead of uh, uh, using uh, random query, we use our state synthesis protocol. Uh, to generate a uniform superposition of PAX and PBX at the rightmost node VR. So after that, the node VR uh, can uh, do, uh, the, do the SAT test uh, locally, and, they, uh, and the node VR can decide if uh, capital A is equal to capital B. Uh, and this is a table of uh, our quantum uh, protocol. Uh, the first one is the proof size, and the second is uh, the message size. And here is the, our protocol. And we can also uh, solve this problem classically uh, in, the, this, in these parameters. And we also showed uh, the lower bound for uh, classical protocols uh, with respect to the proof size. So we can say that our quantum protocol has uh, exponentially small uh, proof size with respect to uh, input parameters L and S. Uh, because our quantum protocol is logarithmic in L and S, but uh, we showed a linear classical lower bound for uh, the classical case. So now uh, we move to the second result. So, so we define LOCC DKMA protocol 
in uh, this protocol uh, the nodes of the network only use classical communication uh, instead of quantum communication. And the, our result is summarized in this uh, table. Uh, assume that DKMA protocol P has through size SP and message size SM, then this protocol can be converted to LOCC DKMA protocol P prime, where the proof size is SP plus uh, some small term and message size is SM times uh, some small term. So our, uh, our protocol for this result is uh, simple because the prover sends EPR pairs uh, to the each, net, uh, each node of network, then uh, each node uh, can simulate uh, the quantum communication in the original protocol by quantum teleportation. And the proof idea is uh, to uh, verify the quantum proofs uh, sent by the prover are uh, truly EPR pairs. Uh, this can be done using techniques from uh, Cho and Hayashi, uh, which is a verification protocol of the EPR pair in LOCC two-party setting. So we can modify this uh, protocol into the uh, general distributed setting. So for the application of this uh, result, our protocols for uh, SGDI and set equality problem uh, can be converted to uh, LOCC DKM protocol. And our uh, protocol for set equality problem preserves uh, quantum advantage in the proof size. Uh, we can also uh, apply it to uh, the protocol for the problem considered in the previous work. Uh, and this is the last uh, slide. So we first uh, designed a DKMA protocol for uh, the problem we we call state generation with distributed inputs. And, and as an application of this protocol, we uh, designed a DKMA protocol for set equality program. And for the second result, we, uh, we designed uh, how to convert DKMA protocols into a LOCC DKMA protocol with a minor blow up in the proof size. That's all, thank you. Okay, uh, we could have, have a few questions. Uh, okay, uh, so in your um, uh, I think if I'm right, so in your protocol, you synthesize the state for uh, your many servers. There are many servers there, right? And you synthesize the state for the final server. So is it possible for your protocol to synthesize a, a state uh, over all the servers? So is it, is it possible? Over all network? Yes, over all servers. They have share uh, a big entangled state. Yeah, it might be possible, okay, but okay. Uh, so yeah, that would be an interesting direction. Okay, thank you. I think this is a sequential protocol, so they only get the outcomes at the end. But um, maybe they can consider parallel. Okay. Any question? Did you catch it? Uh, 
excuse me. Uh, hello, nice talk. So I have a question about DQMA. Is it known what sorts of problems are going to be complete for that if there is known completeness results? So, so, sorry, can you repeat? What sorts of results do we know for like that characterize more broadly this class DQMA? Do we know of any like complete problems or anything like that? What do we uh what do we know of? What, what is your well, question? I, I can come ask you later, it's fine. Thank you. Yeah, I, I think the question is probably to find the hardest question or uh, is it a complete problem in this class? I think I have a follow-up question. So do you have a lower bound? Uh, like you, you prove a protocol with certain uh, parameters depends on the size and the uh, so you have two parameters, right? So yeah. do you have a lower bound? Like how, no. how, no, no, lower how bound good? Lower for quantum proof code? Yes, for this uh, uh, DQMA? Yeah, uh, no, no, no. Uh, I, I, I don't have lower bound. Okay. Yeah, but it's interesting open question. Okay. Uh, do you have any further question? Okay, so uh, if not, uh, let's thank the second speakers.